So new to the UK market, in fact just coming on stream now, is uh, Otson's new range of sport climbing ropes, which runs to four different models. Uh, can you just talk us through it, Jason? Yeah, yeah, well, real brief. Yeah, we've got uh, ropes coming from Otson now. Yeah. Uh, like, like much of everything else Otson makes, mm. um, this is an inside Otson project. Right, that's nice. Okay, so it's all made by them, yeah. their own people and all yeah. of that, you know, and it's literally from, it's a project from the raw yarn up. Right. Okay. okay. So what they're going for with these is um, PFC rope, PFC free rope, right. I should say. Yeah. Okay. So it is kind of environmentally friendly, mm -hmm. but also something that handles really well. Mm -hmm. It's good and durable and all of that. Yeah. Um, and it's really consistent in its quality. So okay. across its entire length. Right. You know, it's going to be the right weave and all of that and good handling. Okay. Okay. Um, so the way to do that really is um, a lot of hard work and effort uh -huh. and R&D goes into the, uh, the weaving right. and heat treatments and so on. And it's like, yeah. it's like a recipe, right. you know, and it's like really, really complex, you know. Um, mm. I don't understand it, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the recipe leads to um, the consistency. Yeah. And also um, gives them a rope whereby they've got um, zero sheath slippage. Right, oh, very good. Okay. Yeah. So the zero sheath slippage is an important thing yeah, because this absolutely. saves them on a couple of aspects. Mm. If you can weave it in such a way that the sheath doesn't slip, yeah. you don't need to use an adhesive. Right, okay. To uh, bond the sheath to the core. Mm. Okay, if you can get away from using the adhesive, then uh, you score on the environmentally friendly side. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But without the adhesive, you also make a rope which is more supple. Right, and better okay. handling. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a double win on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think the first thing people will notice is, you know, they handle great. Yeah. And then over long term use and so on, uh, for sure you'll notice that the rope doesn't kind of do that bunching down yeah, towards the end thing. Yeah, so it's, it's that consistency idea that's coming through. Mm -hmm. um, the ropes are not dry treated. Right. Okay. This is a sport climbing, sport climbing series yeah. of ropes. Yeah. yeah. Let's be clear about that. Okay. Uh, but it's the dry treatments that are environmentally harmful. Yeah. Okay. That's where most yeah. of the sort of harmful chemicals are. So we'll just sidestep that right. completely. I think typically most people don't need a waterproof rope. You know, there's not that yeah. many people who many actually people are going to go sport climbing. climbing you know, in I the certainly rain. don't. I mean, <laughs> I dream of it. No. Okay. So if you don't need a waterproof rope, yeah. you don't need the treatment. Okay. Safe. Some people do yeah. think the waterproof treatment goes uh, a long way to improving the handling of the rope. Okay. There's a little bit of truth in that, mm -hmm. but back to the first point, if you weave it upright, you've got zero sea slippage, yeah. you don't need the adhesive, yeah. you get a rope that handles really well. So right. you see okay. how the whole thing yeah. kind of loops oh, together. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do get caught out in the showers occasionally. Um, so there is just um, a waterproof treatment, uh, a water repellent treatment right. just on a, the yeah. surface okay. actually to see if you get back home. Sensible. Um, so that's about it. So uh, in so terms of the range, we go from the Vision, which is a 9.1. Right. Uh, so that's your ultra lightweight red point yeah. in the rope. Okay. Uh, we go 9.5 and 9.8 right. through to the Workhorse 10. Yeah. Okay. So you can pick your best balance of whether you want something very durable mm -hmm. or you want something more on the lightweight mm -hmm. end of things. Oh, sort of in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed they all come with the rope yeah, marker yeah, they do. as well, which so, is very nice. Uh, unfortunately, people do fall off a lot <laughs> and wear out yeah. the ropes at one end. Yeah. So you get a marker so you can remark the middle on right. the rope so you always yeah. know where that is. Very good. Uh, for safety's sake. Uh, so, yeah, as you say, we're literally just selling them in now. So they're right. just starting to appear in the shops. Fantastic. Uh, and away you oh, go. We'll look out for those. All right. Thanks, Cheers. Jason.